It is a Saturday morning. Charles and Elizabeth are at home, each enjoying a cup of Earl Grey tea accompanied by freshly picked strawberries. It was jolly good of the museum to lend us the Mona Lisa, said Elizabeth. Quite so, agreed Charles. I do, however, feel her gaze upon me when I reach for the last strawberry or biscuit. <laughs> the telephone rang. Charles answered it. Good morrow, said Charles cheerfully. Top of the morning to you, Charles, said a familiar voice. Matthew here. I've chanced upon something of great interest I'm sure will intrigue you. Oh, said Charles inquisitively. Chanced? Great interest? Intrigue? You've piqued my curiosity. Do go on. Have a look at page 12 of today's newspaper, said Matthew. You'll find a mathematics competition I'm certain you'll want to enter. A mathematics competition? This is most excellent, said Charles. I'll be certain to peruse it. Jolly good then, said Matthew. I'll let you get on. Cheerio for now. Thank you kindly for putting me onto this, said Charles. Cheerio, Matthew. That was Matthew, explained Charles to Elizabeth. There is a mathematics competition in today's newspaper I'm to investigate. A mathematics competition? I calculated as much, joked Elizabeth. Charles bellowed with laughter at Elizabeth's pun. Very good. You'd best hop to it then, said Elizabeth. You'll find your abacus in the study. Don't forget today's newspaper. Charles took the newspaper and headed to the study. Blowing the dust off his abacus, Charles set about reading the newspaper. Right, said Charles, turning to page 12 of the newspaper. Let's see what I'm up against. Ah, said Charles wistfully. Computational complexity theory. That old chestnut. Oh well, might as well take a crack at it. After all, it's what I based my thesis on. Charles positioned his abacus and set to work, all the while humming as he went about it. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Unaware of the passage of time, Charles presses on with the mathematics competition. Elizabeth appeared, bearing a fresh cup of Earl Grey. I've fresh tea for you, Charlie, said Elizabeth. How are you getting on? Swimmingly, replied Charles. I'm not too far off completion. Marvellous, said Elizabeth. Now, Charlie, you do realise that not only is this your fifth cup of tea, but it's almost five in the afternoon. Heavens, exclaimed Charles. I've lost track of time. Thanks kindly for the tea, said Charles. I've one equation left to do. I'd best finish up soon if I'm to make today's post. Yes, indeed, replied Elizabeth. There's about two hours of sunlight left by my reckoning. After completing the competition, as well as consuming his fifth cup of tea for the day, Charles set off to post his completed work.
Spying a large advertisement, Charles turned to look at it. Hmm, said Charles to himself. Elizabeth would love to see Australia. Awfully long way, though. I've always wanted to see Busselton in Western Australia. I should make inquiries. With letter in hand, Charles approached the post box. Oh dear, said Charles. This is a pickle. I can't reach. How on earth am I going to get around this? Thought Charles. Perhaps I could find a more accessible post box, said Charles to himself. Just then, Charles heard the footsteps of a passerby. Turning around, Charles asked the passerby for assistance. Begging your pardon, began Charles, do you think you could help me post this letter? Certainly, said the passerby before unexpectedly lifting Charles up to the post box. There you go. Charles, a little taken aback, posts his letter before the passerby sets him down. Thanks kindly, said Charles. My pleasure, no trouble, replied the gentleman. Ah, here's my omnibus. mailed his letter and feeling a little perplexed, Charles headed home. Upon his arrival home, Charles was delighted to find Elizabeth had made fresh tea and had put out the remainder of the strawberries. How was your stroll? asked Elizabeth. Somewhat uplifting, said Charles coyly. You know what? There's something odd about this mathematics competition caper. I can't imagine why computational complexity theory featured in the question. Very much so, replied Charles. I based my thesis on it. Now that takes me back. Remember our Oxford University days? Of course, replied Elizabeth. It's where we first met. I'm certain we'll find out sooner or later what all this is about, said Charles. It's all a bit odd if you ask me. Would it be fair to say it doesn't quite add up? asked Elizabeth. Charles roared with laughter. Very good indeed, 